Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Candy Park, and we're going to be using an oldie but goodie wet and wild drinking a glass of shine. Using a Ruby Kisses blush brush, <laughs> I'm going to place the transition color onto my lid, and that will be the lighter color in the palette. Using a Coastal Scents brush, I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to grab that chocolate color and I'm going to place that into the crease area um, towards the top of the brow bone. Just blending it out a little bit on the edges. Using a very light hand, you know you can always build up, then to blend down. And here's a closer shot. I'm using the MAC 220, 217 brush here and blending that color in. I'm going to grab that blush color in the palette and I'm using that Ruby Kisses brush and I'm going to blend out those edges and also use this as a brow bone color because this is a soft look. Give me a thumbs up for hitting pan on three different colors. Man, I've never did that. I used to mess out this palette. I'm placing that lighter color on the mobile lid. It's a little chalky, so I'm actually going to take my MAC brush and we're going to blend that out, and that's the MAC brush 224. So I'm going to grab my Ruby Kisses brush again and then we're going to place that blush color in the inner tear duct area, focusing around into the crease area, if that makes any sense. I really like this everyday look. We're going to use the Provision Mascara and Liner and Lashes was placed off camera. And we're going to do some color correcting. We're going to get rid of those dark circles under the eyes. I hate those. And I'm using an Eagle's Tool brush. And I'm using the NYX um, CJ13. I'm going to color correct around my mouth, around my nose, and my eyes. And then I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish in C45. And we're going to place that on top of that orange color corrector. And to make sure that that doesn't come through on our foundation. This method really seems to work for me with concealing my dark circles. So hopefully someone else can use it and um, it can help them as well. So we're going to use the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Youth Infusing Foundation in SPF 25. We're going to take two pumps on the back of the hand. And just using a random makeup brush, I'm going to apply that to my face because I feel that this gives an even distribution of product better than the tip of my finger in my experience. Plus it looks cute with the dots all over my face. <laughs> so I'm going to take my It Cosmetic Foundation Brush and my Max Fix Plus and I'm going to dab lightly underneath the eye area because I don't want to move any product around and I'm going to blend that color in, concentrating, making sure that I get around my brow so I don't have a halo. Um, my chin and cheek area, the nose, just everywhere. Kat Von D, it's Kat, y'all. So we got the Kat Von D in 31 Warm, Deep 31 Warm. And I'm going to place that product right underneath the eyes. I'm not going to place a lot of product like I've been before because I find that this product spreads very evenly. And I'm going to do the cupid skull, and I'm going to do the forehead, the two head that I call it because my head is so small, cupid skull on the chin. And with the Real Technique sponge, I'm going to blend out that color, and we're going to blend down using a light hand. Remember, we don't want to move the product around, 
We're gonna hit that cupid spot and that chin up in the bridge of the nose and that two head. Grab my It Cosmetic. I love this foundation brush, and I'm just gonna blend out and um, blend out those edges, and so it's a seamless transition into shadowing, highlighting. I'm sorry. Now we're gonna shadow. We're gonna cut up those cheeks and that two head, and we're gonna do the bridge of that nose, and then we're gonna do that chin area, and we're gonna use a beauty blender, and we're gonna blend that out. I really don't need to contour my forehead, but it I think it looks more even when I do versus not having any product in that area. So I'm chiseling my chin and then my beauty blender was a little dry, so I keep some water at hand and we're gonna blend out that contour on the nose. And then we're going to take my MAC brush, 165 or 185, I really can't tell. And we're going to take the Laurie Mercier and Translucent, and we're going to apply that to the under eye area with a very light hand. We don't want to place too much, too much product on this area, ladies, because it creases and it makes us look older than what we are, especially when we're looking 25, girl, but, right? <laughs> so now we're going to take the Laurie Mercier and dark deep and we're going to set the rest of the face basically all around just setting those areas making sure I get that little shiny spot up on my forehead my two head or whatever you want to call it I'm going to place mascara on my bottom lashes and a little bit of lipstick and this look will be complete and so there you have it ladies a easy everyday look for 30 40 50 60 um yeah, this is my everyday look. Thank you so very much for watching. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed the video. If you subscribe, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. I would love to have you. Thank you so very much for watching, and I see you in the next video. Bye.